Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, today we are going to do some patriotic marshmallow people, but it's not like the hats. It's completely different. I'm going to show you step by step how to make the marshmallow people and um, let's just say I am wearing the perfect shirt for today's video. <laughs> so. Um, everything in today's video, except for the ribbon, is from Dollar Tree, but you can get ribbon anywhere. Um, Dollar Tree, Walmart. Walmart has a really good ribbon selection. Um, mine is from Hobby Lobby. I got it for like a dollar something, but just remember, you can use anything that you already have at home. But this is going to be a very cute and inexpensive little patriotic, like, tear tray and shelf decor. So I've got like all these um, ideas in my head, so I cannot wait to get into this. Now, let me just say, if you're new here, I craft as close to live as you can get without actually being live. So <laughs> as we're filming, as we're doing this and making this, my brain is like thinking constantly. Um, and sometimes I have to completely change what I thought I was going to do. So but, all right, as always, I'm going to adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what we're gonna do. So, okay. All right, so first off, our, we are gonna make more of our little marshmallow people um, because we're gonna make them patriotic. So I grabbed another pack of the foam dice from Dollar Tree. And I always, I just get the white balloons from Dollar Tree. Now, what I'm gonna do is, it's so quick, so easy, that if you wanted, you could paint these. I choose not to paint because it takes so long. Because you're gonna have to paint one coat, let it completely dry, and then you're gonna have to apply you know, more coats and let it dry in between. Where this right here is fast, <laughs> it's a lot faster. So, all you wanna do is, you take your balloon, Okay, so you see the neck of your balloon, like right here, like right above where it starts to get kind of bigger. Just like that. You're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut that off. All you're doing is cutting off the neck of the balloon. Okay, just like that. And you just kind of open it, give it a couple little stretches, and you're just gonna place it right over top of your balloon. Just pull it down. And you want it to end up on one side. And it does not matter what color dice you use. I've used red, blue, green. It does not matter. It all covers. All right, so that's going to be my bottom. Now, I have found I like to do three layers of the balloon. Once again, I just cut that off. I give it a little stretch. Back over top of that. And just pull it. And you want all of your openings on the same side. Okay, so I got that one. I'm going to do one more balloon. Cut that off. Once again, give it a little stretch. And just put it right back over top of that balloon. Alright, so now all three of the openings are right there. Now, what I do, I just take some tape. Just some basic scotch tape I have from Dollar Tree. That. And what I do is I try to get this as flat and tight as possible. Just kind of fold it over. I use my tape and I just tape that closed. And I'll kind of do like an X with it. And it's gonna look just like that. All right, if you're new here and you're like, what is this girl doing? These are the marshmallow people that we make together. See, this is the balloons. This is the exact same thing. This is the little hats we made together. If you didn't see the video of making these hats, I'll link it down below for you because it's adorable. But it's the same thing. And I made mine probably like almost three years ago. So the bottom, after almost three years, that's what the tape kind of looks like but it's at the bottom. No one ever sees that. So I can say three years ago is when I made this little marshmallow right here. When you take the hat off, <laughs> see how cute. 
All right, so I got that one really quick. I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this one. Now I will say, if you cut off too much of your balloon, it's gonna make it too wide and it's not gonna fit right. So you just wanna cut off, you know, the skinny part of the balloon, like the neck. This is my third balloon right here on this one. So just a little stretch. Pull it right over all the way. See, I got all of them right down there together on the bottom. I would now just kind of tuck it, pull it a little bit. And I'm gonna tape it up kind of in an X. Okay, once you have those all taped up on the bottom, you now I want to take some Sharpies, like permanent markers. I just got these at Dollar Tree. It's the Jot brand, so I thought we would try this. Normally I use the actual Sharpie brand, but I thought I would just try the Jot permanent markers because I needed a brown and this had black and brown in it. So, save a little bit of money by doing this. All right, you can do any kind of face that you want. I just kind of always do the same thing. <laughs> So I just like to do like a crescent for its little eyes. So I just kind of go like that and like that. So I give it little crescents and then I'll give it like little eyelashes. I usually do about four. Just little, little lines, little dashes. All right, y'all, <laughs> my hands like shake and tremble really bad. So mine are not perfect, but that's okay because I love it anyways. But I do something like that. You could also just do like little round, like little circles, whatever you want. Um, and two, you can look on like Pinterest and Amazon, like for different little marshmallow faces. But I like to do that. And then I just love to give mine like a big smiley face. So all I do once again, I'm just going to give it like a big, happy, smelly face. Just like that. And once again, there is nothing perfect about this. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Make sure I have that on the bottom. I'm just going to do another little crescent. A little crescent. I like to do little eyelashes. Just like that. And then once again, I'm gonna do a smelly face. All right. <gasps> I do not like this. Yeah, no. This to me is not working very well on these balloons. So stick with the name brand. Get you a Sharpie. Dollar Tree, Walmart, they all sell black Sharpie markers for like around a dollar. I should've just did that. But I wanted to try these. But yeah, it's not really working very well on it. All right, so once you have your little faces on there, I now, I like to take pink paint and give them like little blush. Like they're, when they're smiling and happy, like their cheeks are blushing. So this brand, this is Folk Art Baby Pink. You can use any um, shade of pink you want. I just kind of like the, like the lighter baby pinks. And you just want like a fine little paintbrush. I just kind of dip it in there and you just want a little bit on your paintbrush. And then like right in the corners of its little mouth, I would just kind of paint a little circle. I just kind of like, just go in a circle, just like it's blushing. See, something like that. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I just need a little bit of paint on the tip of my paintbrush. And then once again, like right, like the little crack of its mouth, like where it's smiling, I'm just gonna paint like a little pink circle. All right, so they both have like their little pink cheeks. Now on one of these, take that brown marker. <laughs> like I said, if you can actually find like the Sharpie brand, I would stick with that but this is that brown jot permanent marker. 
and I'm gonna give one of them freckles. And all I'm gonna do is just like little polka dots. Like, um, let's do like three little polka dots right here. One, two, three. I'm gonna go one, two, three. <laughs> do you see that? Look how cute. Adorable little freckles on this one. I love it. And like I said, you can make it have any kind of face and expression that you want. You can make it look like excited or scared, like for Halloween, whatever you want. But that to me is adorable. All right, so now to make these patriotic, we're gonna take puffy paint. I've got blue puffy paint. This is from Walmart, but it was like a dollar. It was cheaper than Dollar Tree. And then I also have the red puffy paint, which I think may be from Walmart also, but sometimes you can find these at Dollar Tree. But we all have a Walmart, and I think it's even cheaper than Dollar Trees. So we're gonna do these two colors. You're gonna need your puffy paint. You're also gonna need foam brushes. Because I'm doing two different colors, I'm gonna use two different brushes. That way I don't have to like stop in between and clean and all that stuff. All right, so you want to take your puffy paint and you wanna shake it really well first. And you wanna make sure that paint starts coming down. So I just kinda of like put it upside down and shake it. All right, so I think we're gonna do the little one with the freckles. I'm gonna take my red, and this is gonna be like the hair, like melted chocolate kinda of coming down, or melted candy coming down. All right, so what you do is right on the top of your marshmallow, I take my puffy paint, and I kind of on the top, I zigzag back and forth, getting quite a bit of paint on the top, just like that. Now I'm gonna take one of these foam brushes and I'm just gonna start smoothing and spreading that out on the top. Now, if you feel comfortable with the paintbrush, you can take your paintbrush and start dragging some of that paint down, like onto the sides. That way it looks like the um, candy, chocolate, whatever you wanna call this, is running down. But I'll also, I like to take my puffy paint and kind of go along the edges. I kind of go along the edges. Once again, make sure that paint is down at the tip and I'll kind of go around and I'll drip down with it. And I'll take the tip of it and kind of like smooth it along and then I'll come down a little bit, kind of zigzag. I'll drip down a little bit more and I'll keep going around. I'll drip down a little bit more. Okay, as you do that, you can kind of come down a little bit You just want to kind of go through because you don't want it too thick because the thicker it is, the longer it takes to dry. But you also don't want to like see any openings, like any ear pockets. All right, so then I will turn it. Come around to this side. Once again, I'm going to dribble down. Come down a little bit more. Then once again, I'm gonna take the tip of the paint without squeezing. No paint is coming out. I'm just taking the tip, and kind of pushing that excess paint towards the top. That way it doesn't run down. <laughs> okay, this is kind of what the sides and everything's looking like. Now around towards its little face, I wanna do the same thing. I'm trying to hold this best so you can see it. So I want to have some drip down on the side, come down a little bit more. It's almost like you're giving it hair. <laughs> all right, so we are looking like this, going all the way around it. All right, so I'm gonna take my same foam paintbrush and once again, all that excess I'm just gonna kind of take it and just smooth it out on the top. I'm just gonna go all the way around this. Just kind of smooth it out. 
You don't want to press too hard because you're not trying to like wipe the paint off. You're just trying to smooth it out somewhat. Alright, see? It's going to look like that. How cute. I've got these little like confetti, like little tubes. This is from the Crafter Supply section of Dollar Tree. It's a three pack. You get red, blue, and a green. Red and green is perfect for Christmas. I'm going to use this blue. And you have probably seen this several times at Dollar Tree. Like I said, this is in the Crafter Square section. I'm just going to take some of this blue. And while that is wet, I'm going to sprinkle this just kind of on the top. Almost like it's little sprinkles. <laughs> Look at that right there. That red with the blue. They also have silver and gold, which if I had silver, I would add some silver to it. But look, look how cute that is. All right, we're gonna set this to the side. Now, we're not done with this, but we're gonna move on to the blue one too. Once again, take your paint upside down, shake it really well. All right, find, where's your face? <laughs> find your face. So right here on the top, you're gonna do the exact same thing. I just take my paint and I like to zigzag back and forth to give me a good amount of paint on its little head. You could also, if you want, leave it like that because it almost looks like frosting. You know, you could be something like that. <laughs> but I am going to take another foam brush I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna spread this paint along the top. And if you need to add more puffy paint, do so. Because you don't wanna see the white coming through. All right, now that my top looks like that, once again, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do like the paint. The, um, say it's like your candy's melting or your icing, you know, whatever is like running down its little head. And they don't have to match, you know, you can do this however you want. I just like to go around and just do some longer pieces here and there, kind of short, get your edges. Alright, so looking like that all the way around now up to my front <sighs> kind of give him a little superman kind of look there all right once again without squeezing i'm not squeezing paint out i'm just going to take that tip and i'm just going to kind of go around like i said you want it thick but not too thick because puffy paint takes hours to dry Seriously, hours. So the thicker it is, the longer it's going to take. All right. Once again, I'm going to take my foam brush and just whatever's kind of thick on the sides, I'm just pulling up towards the top. Okay, so. We got this one. <laughs> kind of looks like Superman with a little curly cue in the front. Alright, so on this one, I'm going to take some of that red, those little confetti tubes, and I'm going to sprinkle that around on the top of it. So they kind of like that. And also maybe like a few little blue ones. I'm just going to take a little bit of blue and also just kind of sprinkle that on top. All right, look at that. And because, you know, that paint is wet, that's going to stick to it. Okay, so these look adorable. Here's the thing. This puffy paint, like I said, takes hours. Sometimes I'll let mine sit and dry overnight. So for our next step, I went ahead I made these the other day, that way they don't be dry for us. So it's the exact same thing. I just went ahead, 
So it's the exact same thing, exact same steps. I just needed them to be dry for our next step. But like I said, you, you can make so many of these. All right, so now for these two that are dry, these are completely dry. I made these the other day. All right, another thing, those cosmetic sponges from Dollar Tree. This is one of my Dollar Tree hauls. It comes with this shape right here. Y'all, as soon as I saw this shape right here, I thought of making a popsicle. So <laughs> we're gonna take some of these. If you cannot find these at Dollar Tree, um, foam. Get you some foam sheets. You can get foam sheets at Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, anywhere that you want. Um, but we're gonna use these right here. Okay, now here's the thing. All right, so now you wanna take a popsicle stick. Just one of those little crafting sticks, like looks like a popsicle stick from Dollar Tree or wherever you have it from. Okay. I'm just gonna snap this in two. Just kind of break that in two. Okay. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. Okay, so my popsicle stick, and I'm just gonna hot glue that kind of right there to the center of that little foam. Okay, so you can either leave it like that, like that, or if you don't wanna see the popsicle stick, depending on how you're decorating, you could always take another one and hot glue them together. Now by doing that, obviously you're gonna use more of your little foam pads. So I guess just kind of think about like, you know, where you're decorating, how you want it. I'll do one like this and I'll do one where I glue them together. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little thing of hot glue, kind of going around this one right here. All right, I'm gonna glue these two together. Okay, I just hot glue those two together. I really don't like it. <laughs> it's not bad, but it makes it a lot heavier. So to think about like where you're putting this, so there's that, like a double-sided. And then I'm gonna do this one. Just another little thing of hot glue right there. And I'm gonna hot glue the rest of my little popsicle stick. All right, so see the difference? That one's double-sided, it looks like that. Now you're just gonna take some paint. I've got bright blue apple barrel paint. I always get my craft paint at Walmart. I love it. This is like, 50 something cents, so cheap, but so good. So I got bright blue, and then I always use bright red. So I'm gonna try these two. Um, and then I have white, just in case I need it. I glued my popsicle sticks on first, because I thought it'd be easier to be able to hold this and just paint. Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna paint this one blue. Okay, so I went ahead I um, painted this one blue, and I painted the stick. Just that stick right there, I painted it blue. And then this one is the one that we glued together. So really, you could get away with just doing that. That way you don't have to use two. But, all right, so now I got this, y'all. <laughs> These are taking forever to drive. So we're just gonna kinda move on to the next step. Um, <laughs> and, you know, I I craft as close to live as I can get without actually being live. So we're just gonna kind of roll with this. I got Riley's Avengers mat that I always paint on. I'm gonna set these on here. Take some of that Promax, Promax spray adhesive glue. Dollar Tree still has this. It's like different brands, but they have this spray adhesive. I want to put white stars on the blue. So I was gonna use a stencil. And I was just gonna paint white stars on here. But because this is taking so long to dry, my paint, the white paint, will not turn out right. So, the star stickers from Dollar Tree that we painted white, y'all, it was just the basic white paint. I went over top of them to make white stars. I'm gonna get that spray adhesive glue on Riley's Old Avengers mat that I always paint on. And I'm gonna lightly spray this. I'm gonna take those little white star stickers we just, that we painted, or those little white star stickers. I'm gonna like 
tap that down on there. Okay, another little spray of them <laughs> adhesive. So now I'm gonna take some of this glitter I've got from Walmart. This is like a crystal color, kind of like iridescent in a way. And I'm gonna sprinkle this over the top of this blue one. Oh my goodness, oh, look how cute that is. And look at the sparkle of that iridescent glitter. Look at that, look how cute. All right, now for the red one, you can either once again use that glitter, um, that crystal color, or I have red. I think I may try the red on mine. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. Once again, I'm gonna spray this. But I'm gonna go all the way around this one. Wow, look at that. That's like uh, ruby red slippers right there. <laughs> that is so cute. All right, so now we have these two. I love these. Y'all, Hobby Lobby is selling popsicles just like this. Um, but if you can't get to Hobby Lobby or they're already sold out, you can make your own. All right, y'all, I'm changing up the angle here because <laughs> I want you to see what I'm seeing. All right, so these are the ones that are completely dry. I think I want the red one to go on the blue one. I just gotta think like how we wanna do this. I also have some of those foam scatter stars from Dollar Tree, the glitter ones. I love these. So I think I'm gonna take a toothpick. This is a toothpick from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna break it in half. And I'm going to use this kind of as a little brace for my popsicle. So, okay, let's see where I want this. Maybe like, like right there. So I'm going to take this toothpick, like right here on the top of our little marshmallow. I'm just going to stab that through. Because remember, it's foam. It's a foam dice. <laughs> a foam die. See, like that. Here's that little toothpick. All right, so now I can hot glue this to that toothpick and to its little head. So I'm gonna put hot glue on my toothpick. Okay, so I got that right there. And also I'm gonna put some over here on the corner of its little head. All right, stick that down in there and against the toothpick and wait and then wait for that to dry. All right, I got that hot glued on there. Um, I did have to add a little extra hot glue right there to the back, um, just for a little more stability. Now, I think I'm gonna take one of those little white stars and I'm gonna hot glue it here, just for a little, little extra stability. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna put hot glue on the back side. And then also down on the two little corners of its feet. And then I'm going to lightly press all of that together. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how cute that looks. Um, all right, do we need a bow? Let's see. I've got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. It's red with little silver stars on it. I'm gonna use this, I think, to make a little bow. If you don't have a Hobby Lobby by you to get some ribbon, um, Walmart has really cute ribbon. Dollar Tree, sometimes you can find little cute ribbon. All right, so I just had this cute little bow really quick. Um, and I think, you know what, I am. I'm gonna do hot glue like right here in the corner, like she's like her little hair bow. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little dab of hot glue, just right there on the corner of its little head. And then I'm gonna stick this little bow, just like it's her little hair bow. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> I love that. That is adorable. 
Oh my gosh. Remember, use any ribbon you have, uh, whatever ribbon you have at home, Dollar Tree, Walmart. Walmart has really cute, like, thin ribbon like this. All right. So there's that one. Now for the blue one. <laughs> My stickers are coming off. I should have known better. All right, let me pull those off. So I guess same thing. Just kind of put my little toothpick right on there. Let's push that straight down into the, the dice. Well, duh. All right, I just went in my craft room. I found some blue glitter, Dollar Tree. I completely messed that up. <laughs> the stickers would not stick. So I tried to paint with a stencil and it just bled really bad. So I'm just gonna use that same spray glue. Here's like a close up of it. And I'm just gonna use my blue glitter from Dollar Tree. Just gonna spray that down really good. The sides. I guess all over it. All right, let me use this blue glitter. Kind of tap it around the sides, all around the edges. All right, so I'm gonna put some hot glue right on the that toothpick again. Just put some hot glue on there. And then like right down here where I've just left a little bit of paint. All right, and put all of this together. You have to hold that and let that dry. Okay, all right, so once again, for a little extra stability, I'm gonna hot glue a white star, just like we did on the um, little, just like we did on that one. I'm gonna hot glue this one right here. I'm gonna put hot glue down in the corners of my little star here. I'm gonna put some on the back. All right, I'm gonna get all this to try to stick together. Okay, right, now I'm gonna take the bigger red star and just a basic toothpick. I'm gonna shove it, <laughs> shove it up in there. Just like that, just put on all that. All right, since I went ahead and made the hole, I'm now just gonna take this toothpick and I'm gonna shove it down <laughs> into, into the top of our marshmallow behind this popsicle stick. Kind of get an angle. Just kind of push that, work that down in there. All right, then we'll put our star back on. And then look at that. <gasps> look how cute that is. That was just putting that toothpick right back here. And you can paint this. You can paint that blue, red, white, whatever you want. But to me, that just gives a little extra something. And I do, I do wanna add a little bow right here. Even though this is red, I think I still wanna use that red and silver little ribbon right here. This time I'm gonna put hot glue kinda like on the back of my little bow. That way I have more control of where I wanna put it. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Now I'm thinking I may. All right. I'm thinking I may add another star. Just to kind of make, because this one, I wanted to put white stars on the popsicle, but my timing and the paint not drying just right, it didn't work out for me. I have one of those like shish kebab, like skewer things from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use this because it's bigger than a toothpick. Let's kind of snap that. I'm gonna take this bigger, the white foam star. I'm gonna poke that up in there, get that hole. And I think I may add another star to this, but go in the opposite direction. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> these are adorable. <gasps> Look how cute these are. I love these so much. Now, crafting, y'all. Crafting is like life. 
you know, you get one agile in your mind of what you're gonna do and sometimes it doesn't work out. And that's okay because I thought, you know, and I wanted to put little white stars on this blue popsicle and it didn't work out. <laughs> the stickers would not stick. I tried to paint and it just bled and made a mess. So that's why, thank goodness, I found some blue glitter in my craft room and just did that. So maybe once this completely dries, and remember, the puffy paint takes hours, if not overnight, to dry. And then this glitter is taking hours to dry and it's still kind of wet. So maybe if I let it sit overnight, maybe tomorrow I can add some little white stars to that blue popsicle. But now I feel like I've added so much to it, I may not even need it. Cause that's adorable. <laughs> and then this one, it's like the ruby red slippers. Look how cute that is. I love these. And there's the back. So if you want, you can paint those toothpicks. That way you don't have to see them. But I just think these are so cute and so fun. And they're gonna be adorable to decorate anywhere in your house, tear trays, shelves, window sills, wherever. But I just think these turned out so cute. <laughs> so let me know what you think of these. And I actually, I have even more ideas, kind of like, and I have even more ideas of this kind of stuff, but like more like summer inspired, not so much patriotic, but just like summer fun. But I love these and they're so easy and so much fun to decorate with. <laughs> but all right, that is it. Um, all right, so I've got more patriotic and a lot more summer and ice cream inspired crafts coming at you. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe and then click all. That way you're notified for everything that we do around here. Cause you never know, <laughs> especially with me, you never know what's gonna happen. All right, if you think these are as cute as I do, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button because that little thumbs up button, it really does help. So, but all right, that is it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Also, the, I have a lot of people like sending me messages. Our fa um, family vlog channel, oh, once again, I'm gonna do a pinned comment for you. That way it's easier to find because it's still not popping up. I, Presley said I may have put in the wrong name. <laughs> so I'll look into that and once I can fix it, I'll let you know. But in the meantime, if you are interested in our family vlog channel, we've done one video so far. I'm working on our second one, but um, it'll be linked down below for you. So, okay.